the early care and education system matter to local business? <laughs> what should they be doing to help? Um, if the people who operate early care and education um, venues didn't open tomorrow, Blacksburg would come to a halt. Um, uh, we have undergone such a, a dramatic demographic change in this uh, country, and I'm sure it's true in Blacksburg. You know, in 1950, only about one out of five married women with children worked outside the home. That is now the norm, not the exception. And as a matter of fact, right now, well over 50% of all of the women with children under the age of one are in the paid labor force. So we have built an economy that expects a broad participation from two working parents, or if it's a single parent, in our TANF reform, we've said, if you're gonna get the support, you either have to continue your education and or go into the paid labor force. So we've already crossed uh, a set of decision points, and I don't think that there's much likely that we're gonna go back. I mean, I don't know whether you some of you aren't even old enough to know what Ozzie and Harriet means, but most of us never thought that was a real family anyway, because the guy never went to work and the woman was always home. And, uh, so I don't think we're going to return to uh, a time that maybe never existed. Uh, we need smart women in the paid labor force uh, we need them in a variety of, of areas from neurosurgery to, you know, to retail to anything, everything uh, along the way. Um, it's the right thing to do. It's a smart thing to do. But when we do that, we shouldn't be doing it by doing a poor turn for our children. That's not a good trade-off. So I think that we can do it better. I think we should do it better. I think the question is, how do we finance it? 